Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight, and a quick video on something you may find useful. Let's say you've been running your MX Linux for a while, and you've got your theming just the way you want it. You've got your panel color the way you want. You've got your your themes on your on on your windows and your window manager themes done done the way you like. Is there a way to save that for the future? Well, yeah, you can write a script or do something crazy like that, something fun like that. Or you can use a little known feature of MX Tweak. MX Tweak, of course, is the little utility that has a bunch of just kind of miscellaneous options for making life a little bit easier when you set up your system. And of course, you got your panel choices and everything. But on the theme page, you have these theme sets. Now, these aren't themes themselves; these are combinations of themes. And by default, MX Tweak can set um, certain things. And it comes with a few canned ones. Um, here, the light is the default one. So you can see it, it'll set a theme. It'll set the window manager theme. It'll set. It can actually set the panel color. It can set a panel background, and it can set. Um, uh, it can actually do some kind of technical GTK2 whisker theme t whisker tweaks as well. And if you set all this stuff up, you can save it into a tweak file that MX Tweak can read, and then you'll have your own. So how do you do that? Well, it's pretty easy. First, we're going to close Tweak for now, and we're going to open up the file manager. And this should be anybody that's ever run Tweak. This should happen in your home folder under .local .share. There should be an MX Tweak data file, and in this data file, there's going to be a Whisker Tweak RC. Maybe it might not be there. It gets created, so it might be empty. But whatever. This isn't the file you want. You want the Tweak template file. You see, it's mx.tweak.template. MX Tweak will read .tweak files, okay? And it'll use that information to make your own custom theme. And if you put the theme in, into the into the .local .share into the your home folders .local .share I'm sorry. Dot local share MX Tweak data, then you can it, it will show up in your own version of MX Tweak as your own your own system. So I've actually already set one of these up, uh, and I will crack this thing open here. Uh, Dolphin dot Tweak. I'm going to whoops. I didn't do that right. There we go. Now Dolphin dot Tweak has the, the the theme set that you see before you. It has so I've come here, I've given it a name, Dolphin Oracle's theme. I've got my panel color set. Now you're going to notice that these panel colors are a little bit strange. They are what the XFCE settings use to set the color. The easiest way to do this is not to try to figure out what these numbers mean, to be honest with you. It's to use the regular panel settings. You can see my panel, panel one appearance. I got set to solid color. You can use this to choose a color, and you can use the usual GTK color picker to choose your color. And you see it's gonna have a color name that's this number here, but that's not what XFCE wants. There's some sort of translation that happens. The easiest way to get the num that, that number of whatever your final number is, is to use the XFCE settings er editor. Go down to panel, and it'll say, find your panel you want, background color, and it'll have these numbers. These are the numbers you want. So you fill the numbers in, separated by commas, and that's the format that MX Tweak can read to give it to XFCE. Okay? So if that sounds complicated, it's really not. Just set your color first, then copy the numbers from the, X from the XFCE settings editor. Okay? You can do a full path to a background image if you want to. Now that's the background image that's behind the panel. Um, Let's see, the Nietzsche theme actually has those. It has a little kind of shiny, gradiated black theme behind it that makes the, the panel really, really shiny black. Then you can also set the back, you have to set the background style settings. So if you set an image, like with a, with a JPEG or something, you have to tell it style two. If you're setting a color, like I am going to, you set style one. And if you want the theme to set the panel color, set it to the theme zero. The zero is actually the default. And that changes every time you change the theme. The other two won't change if you change the theme manually. Right, okay. They're over, think of them as overrides. So I'm going to set my GTK theme. That's the theme that's inside the windows to my theme. And then I'm going to set the X settings icon theme to whatever icon set I want. If these themes don't exist, MX Tweak won't change whatever the whatever is currently set. So you won't like completely hose the system if these things aren't present. But it is nice. Uh, if you're present, then it will change them. You just gotta get the names right. 
And then XFC for window decorations, that's these things. That's, the, that's these X's and the bars and the, the borders around the windows. Okay, so you'll put whatever it is. You see mine's Mohili. And then I've got Obsidian 2 for a GTK theme and Obsidian for an, an, an icon theme. If I got anything custom to do with the whisker code, I can put it in here. This has got to be standard GTK stuff, GTK2 stuff, and that will end up inside that whisker.rc file that you saw me earlier in the file manager. And then if you want, you can even do a preview screenshot and just give it the same name. Preview screenshot place, screenshot in same folders, tweak file, just tell us the name of the preview file and you're good to go. Okay, so I, I didn't do a preview for this one, but I'm, I put that in the folder. And now when I start MX Tweak on theme, Dolphin Oracle's theme is there. So I can go to the pre-canned ones. So I'll just go to light here. And you can see there's the, th there's the preview button. We already, we already showed that. That's fine. So I'm going to apply, and everything changes. And you can see that, that changed it to, to follow the system theme. The panel color and everything that's the, that's the regular system theme and when I go back to my theme everything should come back the way I had it and I actually matched the panel to my whisker themes that I avoided I avoided having to do anything customizing the whisker menu I actually customized the panel to match the whisker menu and saved it to, the set, to my tweak file done as far as I'm concerned for me so there you go an undisclosed kind of hidden little feature of MX tweak that I imagine some of you customizers and themers out there might find useful for tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post. At forum.mxlinux.org, this is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.